Hello everyone and welcome to CADCAM CE Tutorials. In this video, we are going to create a tapered helix or a helix with variable diameter as you can see on the screen right now. So let's begin it. So let us first close this part. We'll go to the new part and OK. Now first we'll create background plane white. Now in order to create a helix, first we have to create a helix curve. And for that, we can go to the insert curve and we can select here helix or spiral. First, we have to create cross section of the helix. So, in our case, it will be circle. And to create cross section, we need to select a plane. So, we'll select here top plane to sketch the cross section. Now, we'll select circle and we'll create a circle with the diameter of 100 mm. So here we can specify radius as a 50 mm and we'll click on OK and we can exit the sketch. So once we specify here the cross section of the helix, it will create a preview of the helix with the default parameter and we can edit the, all this parameter for our helix. So in our case, the pitch is 20 mm, so we can specify pitch as a 20 and here in our case, number of revolutions are 10. So by the way, the pitch is nothing but the distance between the consecutive point along the axial direction. And here we'll specify revolution as a 10. Let us define start angle as 0. Now here we can see that it is created helix, but the diameter of all the turns are set. So if you want to create a tapered helix or a helix with a variable diameter, we have to specify here angle of the taper. So let us define here 10 degree as a taper angle. Once we define this taper angle, it will create helix with the variable diameter. So here we have two options to create taper. We can create outward taper or inward taper. By default, it will create outward taper. But if we uncheck this option, it will create inward taper. So let us keep it outward and click on OK. So once this curve is created, let us go to the feature and select here swept pose feature. In order to create a solid taper helix, here we have to specify the profile or the cross section. So we'll keep it circle and let us say the diameter is of 10 mm or let us specify here 5 mm. After that, we have to select here path for the swept. So we'll select here this helical curve. Or let us define diameter as a 10 mm and then we can click on OK. So here, first we can hide this blue color helix curve. Then we can select the entire body and we can select any of the color that we want and click on OK. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please hit on the like button, share it and subscribe to the channel KDKMC Tutorials. Thanks.